Hey guys, welcome to Graphic Designer Pro and welcome to the start of our new series, Tool Time, where we'll be covering the basics of various tools across Adobe's design software. In this video, we'll be focusing on the free transform tool in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along, then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'll pass you over to our lead designer, Rory, who will show you how it works. Thanks Ross. So jumping straight into our template file here, we have some objects set up on the right hand side that we're going to use this free transform tool on. So I have to make sure I have an object selected first before using it and it can be found over on the left hand side and the keyboard shortcut is E. Now this works in a very similar way to the normal selection tool but we get a little bit of extra control with it. So I can move objects around by simply clicking on them. I can scale them by clicking and dragging on a corner hand Handle. I can hold shift to lock the aspect ratio. I can hold option or alt to scale out from the middle. This also applies to the left, top, right and bottom handles as well. So I can do the same thing here with the scaling. Now you will notice if I hover over a corner handle, we get two arrows appearing. So this depends on the way we move the mouse. But if I click out to the top right, you can see I'm able to scale this in the normal way as I just demonstrated. However, if I click and drag off to the left or right will actually start rotating it so this is completely dependent on the way we move the mouse and what we want to achieve. This also goes for the edge handles as well if I click up or down you can see we can start to shear this object so we're skewing it in a different way this also goes for the top and bottom handles. If I click and drag on a corner point and then hold command or control on a PC you can see we can actually start skewing only this corner and we can start adding a bit of perspective to this design. If I hold option at the same time that's going to skew out the opposite corner so we're going from the bottom right to the top left. If I hold shift as well it's going to skew out the bottom left hand corner. This is where this tool can become very useful. We've got some outlined text here I can do the same thing again E on the keyboard. I'll click and drag and hold command again and you can see I can add some perspective to this text. Again if I hold option I can change the perspective of this holding shift I'm going to extrude it out from the other side as well so I'm just going to hold just command to give this a little bit of perspective here and shift there we go we can also use this with live text again pressing E we can't skew this in the same way to give it perspective so if I click and drag and hold command you can see nothing is happening I can still shear this by clicking and dragging on the corners and really apply any of the other things we can do with the free transform tool now you'll notice we have a small crosshair in the middle and that refers to the rotation point so I can click and move that. I can snap it to any of the handles around the bounding box and now if I rotate it's going to rotate from that point. So this is another useful feature of the tool and that really sums it up. If you want to learn more about graphic design, we've created a free one hour training where we reveal our top five secrets to creating beautiful graphic design. So make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. The link is in the description. You're not gonna to want to miss it. We'll see you there.